I have to be honest, I'm not promising a brawl. Even if you fundamentally disagree with what somebody is saying, you have to give them the platform to at least express themselves. Stefan Simchowitz is a figure who's been very polarizing. So we have the contentious advisor slash collector art lover. We have the gallerist and we have like this straight up collector. What I hope to find out is why people collect digital art what they think is important, and maybe some of the nuts and bolts that are involved in developing a digital market. Art criticism uh, it generally is unwanted and unwelcome in most instances because people don't like criticism. So the challenge for us has been to find a way to make popular and accessible something that essentially people don't want. The way in which they're being presented with content and the way in which they're consuming it has changed. They're not consuming less media now than they were in the past. They're actually consuming more. They're just consuming it in bite-sized chunks. I would argue our attention span has extended. We're doing several little sprints instead of a marathon. But we're still running the same distance. In fact, we're probably running more. This is a historical moment. What kind of art is going to be coming out of Cuba? The boycott is over after 50 years. So there's a lot of questions, maybe more questions than answers, but we're going to hear from experts. What are the major changes that we are going to see coming up? Is this going to be more political art? Is it going to be more freedom of expression? What is going to be the impact on the market? You know, more people are going to go to Cuba, more collectors. Are the prices going to be valued or devalued? So I think these are major key questions that are going to come up in the panel. What can we do? I don't believe that we are fated to all have to move to the Poconos. Well, the opening question is the title of the panel, which is, how will New York's art scene survive? It's a truism that when artists start moving into your neighborhood, Starbucks is next. But I think that the jury is out on whether artists cause anything. That it'd be very convenient if, if all it took to um, change a neighborhood was to just bring in some, some creative types. I've got three people who I think have something to say about it, and I have something to say about it, so I think it'll be a good discussion, maybe even an argument, which is always the most exciting.